Hello everyone! Uh, the European Team Championship is currently being played in Greece and this, this was a very interesting game from round 3. Uh, it was played between Jan Nepomniashi and uh, the 4th uh, highest rated uh, Czech uh, chess grandmaster Viktor Lasnička. And it's uh, quite an interesting game. Uh, like in that game I, I did a, about 2 days ago I believe uh, in Jobava versus Barev. Uh, Jobava gave Barev a choice uh, whether he will recapture with the pawn or with the knight. And well, although recapturing with the knight was a better move, uh, Barev decided to capture with the pawn and his position fell apart. Uh, similar is uh, also in this game, uh, but uh, let's see it. Uh, so Nepo has the white pieces and he plays e4. Uh, we have c6 by Victor, uh, the Karo Khan defends d4, uh, d5 and e5, the advanced variation of the Karo Khan. Uh, bishop to f5, knight to f3, uh, e6. Uh, bishop to e2, c5, now bishop to e3, c captures, knight captures, and the knight to e7. And uh, black is kind of given up the bishop pair here if Nepo would capture knight captures on f5, uh, but then this knight would uh, get this beautiful square and uh, f5 and he would be a very powerful piece there. Uh, so Nepo simply cap uh, castles, we have knight b to c6, uh, bishop to b5, pinning the knight, uh, we have a6. Uh, bishop captures, b captures, and we have c4. Uh, queen to d7, now defending the c6 pawn that was attacked. Uh, knight to c3, and we have d captures on c4. Uh, some other moves were also possible here. Uh, for example, uh, rook to b8, uh, maybe even c5, uh, or bishop to g6. Uh, but okay, uh, Victor played d captures on c4. And we have knight to a4. And here Nepo is threatening knight to b6 uh, with a fork, uh, forking the rook and the queen. Uh, we have knight to d5, and this is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's also kind of a waiting game move, uh, because uh, Nepo does want to capture this bishop on f5, but he doesn't want to capture it while this knight is on e7. Uh, so now, after he played knight to a4 to threaten the knight to b6 fork, uh, Victor defends with knight to d5. Uh, now... Uh, getting uh, ready to develop this bishop. Now the bishop is also protecting c5 uh, and the knight from d5 is protecting b6. Uh, so now that the knight is gone from e7, Nepo captures the bishop. Knight captures on f5. We have e captures on f5 and rook to c1. And uh, okay, he's th threatening to capture this c4 pawn. You can't really defend this pawn. Uh, better would be to simply play bishop to e7 and castle and completely forget about this pawn. Uh, but uh, Victor plays c3, kind of to mess up uh, Nepo's plans. Uh, capturing the pawn with the knight is perfectly fine, but Nepo plays queen to c2. And here probably capturing with uh, c captures on b2 was okay, also rook to b8 was fine. Uh, but Victor now plays bishop to e7, and uh, Nepo recaptures uh, with knight captures on c3. Uh, we have knight captures on e3 now, grabbing the dark square bishop and doubling up uh, white pawns. f captures on e3, uh, bishop to g5, now with the threat of bishop captures on e3 with check, forking the king and the rook, uh, rook c to e1 defending, and we have g6. And, uh, well, these dark squares are really, really weak now. This f-pawn <laughs> became quite a target, and uh, Nepo uh, makes use of this. He plays g4. Uh, we have f-captures on g4, and now knight to e4. Uh, bishop to e7, uh, rook to d1, now with a tempo on the queen, queen to c8. And here we have uh, a very interesting move, uh, well... Uh, knight to c5 w would have been perfectly fine and it would give Nepo the advantage. Uh, but uh, Nepo decided to go for the for the insta-kill uh, and he played e6. And this is the moment I was talking about uh, that it's similar to the to the uh, Jobala Barev game. Uh, now Victor can capture with queen captures uh, on e6 and also with f captures on e6. Uh, in the game e capture, f captures on e6 was played, uh, which was a terrible, terrible blunder. Uh, but uh, before I show you what happened in the game, uh, let's just uh, check what happens if queen captures on e6. And it doesn't seem like that hard of a variation to calculate, so uh, I wonder why Victor decided not to go for this. Maybe, maybe it was time travel, I don't really have the details uh, of this game. Uh, but after queen captures on e6, uh, there is knight to d6 with check. 
and uh, well you definitely don't want to go to the d file in front of the rook uh, if you play something like king to f8 <coughs> uh, you get rook captures on f7 with check uh, white wins the queen uh, and after knight to d6 check if you play something like bishop captures on d6 you get queen captures on c6 uh, with check and also uh, well uh, if you defend with the queen you lose the rook on a8 uh, so king to e7 would have to be played now the rooks are connected uh, but rook captures on d6 and uh, after queen captures uh, queen to b7 check uh, queen blocks and now rook captures on f7 king captures and now queen captures on d7 with check and uh, well white does have a queen and this g4 pawn is uh, definitely going to fall uh, the black rooks are undeveloped, but I, I, don't, I don't think that it's that easy to win this with white, uh, if, if at all possible. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm curious why Victor didn't go for this. So if any of you have some more details about this game, feel free to share in the comments. Uh, so after e6, uh, Victor played f captures on e6, and this allowed Nepo, uh, well, a, a, very, uh, a, a very quick kill with queen to c3. And uh, there are simply too many threats here. Uh, the, the queen, of course, uh, the main threat is queen captures on h8, uh, grabbing the rook. Uh, this was uh, uh, this was avoided uh, with rook to f8. Rook to g8 might have been a bit more resilient, but uh, it wouldn't really help help black. Uh, so after rook to f8, rook captures on f8 with check. Uh, bishop captures on f8 was played. Uh, if king captures on f8, uh, black also loses with queen to h8 check, uh, king to f7, now rook to f1 check, and after bishop blocks, uh, rook captures, uh, king to e7, now queen g7 check, king has to go to d8, and rook to f8 uh, with checkmate. Uh, so after rook captures on f8, bishop captures on f8 was played, uh, and here Nepo played queen to h8, and Viktor Lasnichka uh, resigned the game. Uh, there are, like I said, too many threats here, uh, uh, black cannot avoid them all. Uh, let's just see uh, if black, for example, plays uh, queen to c7, uh, knight to d6 check wins the game immediately, black has to give up the queen with queen captures. Uh, if you play something like king to d8 or king to d7, uh, knight to c5 check, a uh, discover check from the rook wins the queen, uh, and if you play a move like king to e7, uh, you get queen to h7 check, uh, you do have to move uh, king to f6 and now you grab the queen uh, if you go to d8 uh, it's it's the same uh, knight, to, knight to b5 with check a discover check from the rook also wins the queen uh, so none of this was played after queen to h8 uh, Viktor Lesnichka resigned the game and uh, although all the all the titles uh, on the on the web pages and some blogs uh, said a beautiful miniature by Nepo uh, it is 26 moves, this queen to h8 is the 26th move, so I don't believe it classifies as a miniature. I believe a miniature is uh, 25 moves or less, but I could be wrong. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, been known to happen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Jeremy Newhouse, uh, Rahma Alawais and uh, Rodrigo Corballo for your contribution to my channel. Uh, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check to all my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.